What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Coral Care Quick Tips and this week on the show we have Rob aka Reef Stash joining us and he's got a very special tip for you so let's jump right into it. Hey guys it's Reef Stash. Thank you Joey. I appreciate you bringing me on your channel for the next coral care tip and today I have an issue with an acantho meat coral. You can see it right over here. It's an orange one. I had it out here in the middle and my lights were cranked up to about 80 to 90% and it started bleaching on me. I since have moved it to this lead. It's got less light. It's starting to open up again, but we're gonna give it a boost with a bath in Ocean Magic, which is live phytoplankton from Algae Barn. And we're gonna use some frag recovery. It's a dip, a coral frag dip from Brightwell Aquatics. But this stuff is great if you see your coral starting to decline. It's also great when you're fragging and you need some tissue to repair and heal. Uh, this works really well, but we're gonna give it a little bath in this little container. And we're gonna do this daily for the next week until I start seeing it restore its color. All right, first up, we're gonna give it a bath in some live phytoplankton. All right, it's been about 15 minutes, and now we're gonna add the recovery bath. It calls for 20 milliliters per half gallon. We're using one cap fill, which is about five milliliters. And we're gonna swirl it around. Now, five minutes. All right, time to add the coral back to the tank. Do not add the same water back. We're just gonna grab them out of there, put them back in a shelf area and we'll just give it special attention for the next week until we see the color starting to return. Remember guys, coral are like little kids. Sometimes they're just not happy and they just need a little extra attention. And just remember, if you ever see issues with your corals, there's always hope. Uh, don't give up until you see nothing but a skeleton. All right, guys, peace out. Thank you so much, Reef Stash, for that awesome piece of advice about dipping corals. That uh, You can use that in a proactive manner or a preventative way if you see your corals stressed out, just like Rob did, to help prevent that and to help bring your coral back to good health. Now, if you wanna find out more about Reef Stash, you can check him out on Instagram, on YouTube. I recommend you go and subscribe to his YouTube right now. And you can also find him over on Facebook. And thank you so much for checking out this episode. And I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk. Mm -hmm.